for Lent, although we're two days into Lent and I haven't done it yet, but this is my goal for Lent that I'm going to walk 15 minutes uninterrupted for 40 days. So I have in my house, the way my house is, I'm just putting the timer on for 15 minutes. There. The way my house is I was thinking, where am I going to walk? Because I don't feel like walking on the treadmill just yet. And my grandkids run in circles all around this little part of our house. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'll walk around the island. Not doing any strenuous walking, but just moving for 15 minutes. I haven't done this much uninterrupted moving. Oh, I'm a little wobbly since my um, surgery. So why not just start in your own house? You know, just strolling around. So I thought I'd chat with you guys while I was doing some of it. Anyway, so tonight we are going, oh yeah, and part of this walking is I cannot stop to straighten anything up because that's my bugaboo. Let's just look past the messy cushions, look past the junk mail, and just look past those shoes and just keep on trucking. Um, let's see how long, how far I've walked so far. Hang on, wait till the clock comes around into view. Two minutes. This is funny. But yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So anyway, tonight we are going to Broadway the music, not Broadway, Motown, Motown the musical. So um, I got the tickets for Richard for Valentine's Day, even though he doesn't believe in Valentine's Day, it doesn't stop me, I do. And he's never been to a Broadway musical and I live and breathe them. You know what I mean? It's Well, that's not true. I shouldn't say he's never been to one. He's been to ones that I've been in, but that's been local community theater. He's never been to a Broadway Broadway one, either a touring company or on Broadway. So this is the real deal, McCoy. You know what I mean? So, uh, so we're going, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the last vlog, that Janet had gotten tickets for Christmas from her husband to go see Motown the Musical because both the Coopers love Motown music. They grew up in Britain and uh, in the UK and that was the music of their youth. They absolutely love Motown music. So John got that for Janet for Christmas. So uh, they're going. So I said to her, well, what night are you guys going on? She goes on February 16th. I'm like, that's when we're going. Where are you sitting? Two rows apart. So how fun is that? So we're going together. That'll be fun. And then tomorrow, Richard, who's Mr. I don't believe in Valentine's Day. First of all, on Valentine's Day, he calls me. He says, we're going out for lunch. I know we are. How come? He goes, I just want to take you out for lunch today. I'm like, okay. So we went for a lovely lunch. And then he had mentioned it last week, but not really. And he goes, we're going away for the weekend. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna stay near that Cross Iron Mills Mall or whatever. It's this fancy new mall in Calgary. And the hotel has a pool in it, which he knows I love. And it'll just be so nice. So um, we were making the reservations together and so, I thought we were just going for Saturday night because we um, are going out tonight and it's Friday night. So I thought we'd be home on Sunday. So he said, no, 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 no. I made the reservations for Saturday night and Sunday night. So we have two nights away. I'm like, what? Who is 
this guy. So nice, so sweet. So yeah, I've walked for five minutes and I'm, can you hear me? Starting to get a little breathy, which is kind of cool. But you can just use your own house surface, walk around and you're getting some exercise. You guys need to try this. Don't need any fancy equipment. I have on my glitter slippers, the gold glitter ones, not the flippy floppy ones. Like, you need nothing. Just gonna walk. So, oh, I didn't need to look at the clock. I'm looking at the clock on the camera. <laughs> it says 527. That's how long I've walked for. One third of the way though, you guys. So I'm just gonna carry on and I will be back. Hey Google, stop! Hey Google, stop! Oh, how fun was that? Whew! And you actually raise your heartbeat and your breath. All I did was walk around this little bit of my house. So, yay for me! Now I'm gonna have some coffee and some toast and an apple. And it's gluten-free bread, so. Oh, that feels good. It actually feels good. Get your blood circulating. It's so easy. I don't care what level of fitness you're at. If you're walking, you can do this. So, anyway, I'm going to go make my brekkie. Let's go picking up a few little things while we're getting new tires on the car. And it's Friday night day in Costco. You know what that means. Oh, I wonder if we should get these instead. These multi-green nachos. Mind you, they cost two dollars more. Well, why would you? We don't need them. No. What is this? Is that apple cider vinegar as a dressing? Oh, oh yeah, just. That's the best kind. Mm, I don't want anybody to get some. That's the way. Oh yeah, I've got all of that. Mm -hmm. We're just thinking of things in the car. We always take. Tire treats. I don't care if we're going for two minutes or five hours. I want some anti pasta. That was so good. Mm, really good. Just looking for some crackers. This one guy was shouting over there it's Friday in Costco. Get your treats now. It's almost supper time. It's actually only three o'clock, so Let's see what this guy has. And look how close we are to Jeff. It's right in the beach, spread out on the beach. Right there. We're in John. And we're right here. So exciting. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. Richard just went with John to get some water or something for us, so we can... And I'm wearing the dress I wore to the funeral. <laughs> Gotta get some use out of it. So, how do you feel about being at your first Broadway musical? Great. So we're on the road, it's noon, that's exactly what time I wanted to leave so we'd get to Calgary just in time to check in. And Richard is putting gas in the vehicle over there. We came to Costco to get our gas and we're hitting the road. It's cold in Calgary and snowing, but that's okay. We're not going there for any event or anything. We're just going shopping and shopping is indoors. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can't wait. It'd be nice just to get away. And all oh, that musical last night was fantastic. Richard enjoyed it. Janet and John enjoyed it. And John and Janet were sitting like a few rows, I think I showed you. And by the end of the show, all the people around them had moved and Janet said it was because John was singing so loud. I think that's absolutely 
hilarious, don't you? But it was so good, so good. The girl who played Diana Ross was um, Trinice from American Idol season two. She was one of the finalists. She was fantastic. It was like she was Diana Ross. She she looked like her. Her talking voice sounded like her. It was in remarkable. And the fellow who played Barry Gordy, outstanding. It's just so good. If you get a chance to see it, go and see it. Because you find out all these questions that you weren't quite sure, like the complete story of Motown. It's so good. So we're in Red Deer, which is halfway between Calgary and Edmonton. And we stopped at Peter's to get some milkshakes and of course we had to stop at the donut mill and get some donuts let me show you these babies look at these old-fashioned glazed old-fashioned coconut glazed lemon vanilla raspberry something and is that raspberry and apple pie those are Richard's those three and these the fairy were my choices doesn't mean i'm going to eat them but those were the choices i had so yeah because we have to go to the bathroom and we i hate going in a store and using their bathrooms and not buying something so we thought why not buy some donuts at the old donut mill and support i love these old-fashioned like peter's and the donut mill and glenn's tea he has a teapot outside of his building I love supporting these um, businesses that have been there for years and years and years because they are um, the big conglomerates like uh, McDonald's and Wendy's and they're all coming in there and these guys will end up closing so I'd rather support the old businesses. So we brought our own food so I'm just going to go in the back and get our food. Our room. It's really nice. Look at this room. I haven't seen the bathroom yet. Everything's pretty brand spanking new. Really nice. Very nicely decorated. And the lighting, look behind the TV. Very, very nice. And we have a view, like it's to the countryside. Although Calgary is just not far from here. It would be that way, but because there's a snowstorm, you can't see it. So we're just overlooking like a field. And then on the other side is Crossfields Mall. And then if we go down the hall here, I think you can see the swimming pool from up here and the gym. Let's go have a little look-see. And there I am in my traveling duds, my suckies. Let's go have a look. very quiet although it's a family hotel it's brand new it seems to me that there's a lot of people that ski oh there's Richard going outside with the thing see so we're on the second floor and there's four floors and I thought you could overlook the swimming pool but maybe I was wrong let me just see Oh my God, the breakfast. Wasn't that good, Richard? Yes. Oh, our free breakfast or complimentary breakfast consisted of eggs, hash browns, sausage, pancakes, coffee, juice, yogurt, pretty much hard boiled eggs, anything, muffins, anything you could think of for breakfast they had. And they were so nice and hospitable, you know? Didn't you think that lady was so sweet? Yes, she was. <laughs> and the sheets. What do you got to say about them sheets, Richard? Very comfortable. So comfortable. I read online that a few people had said it, the sheets are so... Whoa. We should have gone in here. The sheets are so beautiful that um, they bought the sheet sets. I can see why. They are... You climb in that bed and you just want to stay in the bed it's just the right amount of softness they're not crispy they're not i can't describe he's laughing at me but i can't describe them how would you describe those sheets they're sheets they're crispy no but you know Flavor, crispy flavorful. not flavorful but you know crispy cold sheets they're not like that no they're very soft 
They're really soft, but not too soft. They're not fluffy soft. <laughs> They're just perfect. I have no idea where they got these sheets, but they do have them for sale in the lobby. So Monica might be taking some of them boys home. Here's them all here. Hang on. the dogs and he saw this kind of moose. The mama moose and her babies and he said she started jumping on all fours up and down so he knew he better get away. But yeah. So we're at the pool and we thought we'd come. Is that hot or warm? Oh, nice. Fun. Yeah, the pool's too... I don't feel like being cold. But I'm going to get in the hot tub with some fishes. Here I come. How fun is this? Take advantage of all the amenities of the... Ooh, yeah. This is nice. Oh, this is so nice. And a nice white crispy view of the of the no? You can see the kids going down the slide here. Yes, there's a water yeah. slide here. We wanted to get here before the hockey teams come. Ah, feels nice. Ha ha. clear morning. Can you see the mountains there? Those are the rocky mountains right through there. It's beautiful. It's still really cold out though. So we just checked out. One thing I forgot to show you guys. At the front desk they have cookies and it looks like lemonade but I think it's lemon water. But every day they bring different cookies because that really nice lady Michelle baked chocolate, double chocolate chip cookies this morning. She was so sweet. I mean, talk about hospitality. This place had it. It was incredible. It really was. Lovely stay, don't you think, Richard? Perfect. It was perfect. It was so nice. So we are stuck in what appears to be some sort of a traffic situation. There's an accident way, way, way in the top of that hill. And we had to slam on our brakes really quickly. And then this guy behind us, he was like in a truck, but it had all kinds of equipment on it. And he had the sense to pull over into that other lane or we would have been uh, rear-ended pretty badly. So that was kind of scary, but we're okay. Nothing happened to us, but this is, yeah, not cool. Hope nobody's hurt. It's just ridiculous because if you can see the roads are dry as can be, which is usually the case in the winter unless there's a big sto snowstorm and it takes a couple of days for them to get dry again. But you can see these roads are dry asphalt. Oh, 
although there is a lot of snow, but the roads are excellent. People always worry about driving in on the roads in Canada because of the snow. They think, oh, there's no way I could drive. You can see the roads are dry. They're dry, 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 gray, dry. So this is just a case of somebody following too close or not paying attention. This has nothing to do with snow. Right, Richard? Right. But look how pretty that white is over there. When snow is untouched, it is so pretty because nobody's walking in it or anything. It just looks so nice. The blue, blue sky. Very pretty. What is this you say? Well, we were already past um, our, whatever you call it, first traffic. Initial accident. The initial accident. And then everything was going really smooth for about three minutes and all of a sudden, slam, 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 everybody in the brakes again. There was another one. Are you kidding me, people? Like, seriously. The roads are dry. Craziness. So, patience. about to put this cake in the oven because we're having our stitch and bitch and I made this delicious cake last time and remember I got sick and ended up in emergency so I'm making the same cake again. So got that in the oven. Last time I layered it with um, strawberries but this time I'm going to put lemon, lemon in between and tonight's uh, get together is at Deanne's because the first Mondays are here and the third Mondays are at her house. So, yeah. So it should be lots and lots of fun. And it's cold, but surely not as cold as it was in Calgary. So funny, I said to Richard, the, what's that saying? The devil you know is worse than the one you don't. So you go and you think, oh, it'll be nice and warm. Usually Calgary's warmer than here. It was a bit her cold there. I mean, bitter cold. So we got here, we're like, oh yeah, it's only minus 21, not so bad, you know. So anyway, <laughs> had a nice little visit with Deanne this morning. The um, place that she's working on, she's a house painter. She's like a manager of her and it's like a women's company. It's quite cool. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, the place they're painting has no bathrooms because they gutted the whole house. So thank God it's really close to our house. So she had to come over here and use the restroom. And she goes, I could sure use a hug from my mom. So that was perfect. So I'm just going to get dressed this morning and clean up from our unpacking. Oh, look what we got. A new KitchenAid Architect Series Blender because that thing is on its, it's just done. That one, I love the color. I love it, but time to say bye-bye to it. It just doesn't work anymore. It's just, yeah, one button and you have to keep holding it. But this one, and um, we had a gift card. We get one every year for the bay. And so we split it between Richard and I, and we thought, you know what? We need a blender, so let's get one because it's on sale. It says it was $239.99 but it was on sale for 159 or something so we're like yeah for a blender KitchenAid are you kidding me and it's the architect series so it was the one down from the what do they call them business or um what do you call that anyway you know what i mean there's the one that the businesses use and then this was the one down from that so yeah, because we don't need it. Industrial, that's it. We don't need it in what well, we do, but we don't. You know what I'm saying. Like we're not making smoothies every five minutes. So I can't wait to unpack it. It's so nice. Now look how nice it fits in with the color scheme on my um, countertop. It's perfect. It's like it was made to order. Water, kettle, Keurig, KitchenAid blender, and diffuser. Yep, like it. So I'm gonna make a smoothie in it a little later on. Okay, I'm just about to make a smoothie. I don't know if you guys have seen these at Costco. It's called Tropical Green Dream. And I don't even like mango, there's mango in there. It's mango, kale, spinach, and lime juice. Pineapples, mango, kale, spinach, and lime juice, but you don't taste the mango. Um, 
and there's six of them. They're really like little things like this. And you just dump them in your blender and one and a half cups of liquid. Okay, so I added one cup of milk, half a cup of uh, orange juice. Usually I use almond milk, but I didn't have any, so I just used regular milk. So let's just try the new blender. So I'll put it on stir first. Well, the difference in this blender and my last blender, it said add a cup and a half of liquid and let it blend, liquefy for two minutes. But the other blender wouldn't liquefy, so you kept having to add more and more and more liquid. This one, it is a liquid. Five. Look at that. Perfect. So I was wondering, why do I have to keep adding so much liquid to this puppy? Oh, this is perfect. Yes, man. Makes a difference. Let's taste our breakfast. Mmm. Really good. So nummy. I love the lininess of it. So yeah, there's the new KitchenAid. Love it. Making the lemon filling for the cake. Whipped cream with some of that lemon filling and I cut it in four layers so it's in between. And then I'm going to do like a naked cake. So I put the rest of the icing from the last cake I made, this was in the freezer, I thawed it out and added the lemon to it. And I mixed that up so it gives it a lemony frosting and then frost it on the outside. I put the plastic wrap on it, but you'll see it later on tonight. So there it is. And there is the leftover lemon and whipped cream mixture. Gonna be so good. Um, also forgot to show you this sweater I made for Ozzy. He wanted a sweater like Papa's. It is identical. The only difference is Ozzy's is raglan sleeves and Papa's isn't. That's it. Is that not cute? He's gonna love it. <laughs> Cause he's such an old fart bag. How cute is that? So we just need zipper or some kind of button. So I'm gonna wait and let him decide what he wants. You just love it when crystals dance and they make little rainbows all over your wall and ceiling. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And it's also, it's from, you can't even see it in the windows dirty, but that mobile outside that's got crystal balls on it. Oh, so magical. I used to get them for my kids when they were little and tell them it was magic. And it still is magic to me. I totally forgot to video at our party, but I brought a big piece of the cake home for Richard. So I'll show you what it looks like. See all the layers? It's so good. So I had to bring a big hunk home for Richard and a lot of it was eaten. And then Dion's kids, that's their favorite cake, so they kept it. So anyway, I just got in the door, it's 10.20 p.m. And I'm just gonna say a farewell to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you all next weekend. And thanks so much for watching. And also, welcome to my new subscribers. I've been getting a few new subscribers and I am so happy to have you join along following me on my antics. So we'll see you all next weekend, bye. Thank you.